Hi, I'm Mary Kitchen at the Visa Screening Room for Red Carpet Diary. Mourning the death of a child is incomprehensible for most. I followed the stars of a Toronto International Film Festival world premiere down the rabbit hole of loss. Nicole Kidman and Aaron Eckhart star in Rabbit Hole, a hopeful story of paralyzing parental grief. It wasn't one thing, it was more, I think I'd made up my mind before we even had the phone call because that's usually the way, isn't it, you know, where I'd just seen his movies and I just thought this was such a, um, a different choice for him, but he's so raw and he's such a, um, just, just lovely and I thought he would be, um, he would, he just so wanted to do it and I thought that would, that would uh, help the film. It was a very light set, I have to say, for the subject matter, except, you know, at the, at the right times. But, uh, you know, in, in, in something like this, you have to keep it light or else you'll, the days are long. Ultimately, when I read the play, I feel the screenplay is even stronger than the play. Because you see a lot of events that are mentioned in the play that you want to see and you finally do in this. I think at the end of the day, it's an incredibly hopeful story, uh, even though it deals with a lot of sadness. Um, you know, there's a, it says a lot about grieving and coming through grief that I think everyone wants to to hear about. You know, it, it's difficult, I think, for anybody, um, you know, when dealing with grief and dealing with death, uh, and especially when, you know, there's no real blame, you know, because it was just such a freak accident and something, but certainly um, when you're sitting next to a woman who just lost her son and you had a big part in that, it's, yeah, it's hard talking about the weather. Well, with Nicole, they're all kind of like, you know, husband and wife, you know, like, are we going to stay together questions. And uh, basically that's what the entire movie's about, is like, um, our four-year-old son has died, and what are we going to do about it? How are we going to face it? How are we going to deal with the grief? Um, are we going to have more children? Or, you know, all those questions and trying to find answers to that when you don't have any answers and what's right. And um, it's, you know, I think there are parallels in life and, uh, and questions that I ask myself personally and um, I have no idea.